Greetings, all. Gerald Clark with you on behalf of Seven Planet Broadcasting, Headlines of the Brain. It's April 8th, 2020, and today we're going to talk in episode 13 about Comet Atlas. Has anybody heard anything about Comet Atlas? Okay. Let's open the curtains on this one and see what we can find out. Okay, there's a little simu uh, simulation I did later for you guys. So this comet's coming in. In a parabolic path around the sun and going out comes in about every 6,000 years and it looks like it's oriented itself where a chunk of it can be I don't know uh, interacted with the sun really well so that you might be able to see it and so that's about all I know right now okay here's some of the details of it C 2019 Y4 Atlas or Comet Atlas is a comet with a near parabolic orbit, which was discovered by the Atlas Survey on December 28, 2019. As of April 2, 2020, the comet may be disintegrating, according to Wikipedia. Uh, I've seen elsewhere where it looks like that's happening. Its orbital period is 6,030 years. It was discovered 20, uh, December 28, 2019. Aphelion is 621 meters. Inclination, 45.382 degrees. And it was discovered by an asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system. So, this is A-T-L-A-S. That's what this is. So, so Atlas discovered, uh, I guess they're going to call it C-2019, but because it was discovered by Atlas, it got a common Atlas name. Which I find interesting. Anyway... <clears throat> Let's read what they had to say here. What's approaching the sun now, Borgel told Space.com, is a modest-sized piece of cometary ice and dust with a large, freshly exposed portion of surface, one that's never seen the sun such that it reacts to sunlight similar in the matter of an Oort cloud comet like Comet Kahootik did back in 73. Intrinsically, it's probably several magnitudes fainter than we currently assume it to be, and may or may not be large enough to survive perihelion passage. So basically, uh, new comets that never come around the sun, they interact really well because all their debris gets burned off and everything, and older comets have to shed some skin to uh, have more to give to make a show. That's essentially what they're saying here. So let's see what's next. i got the uh, orbital path out here. And I think there shows it coming in this way. There it is right there. And it comes around like that. Okay. I unfortunately, um, from my perspective, I show it going like this, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> okay. So it's going to come in this way. Go well, that way. Very parabolic path, too. And some of these things, <clears throat> when they show the simulation of them, they go really fast. So. Let's see what else. Um, speaking of simulation, this will be fun. I did a little simulation for you. So our little comet's coming in. We got meteors flying around here. They're trying to hit us. Okay. Oh, there goes the comet right across there. <clears throat> Probably break it up right now. Boom. Then. There we go. Okay. So, <clears throat> it's interesting, the name Atlas it comes from uh, the city of Atlantis. I don't know if many of you know that. So, here's a reconstruction of the city of Atlantis. By somebody. It looks like they actually did some farming models with a tool to segregate the fields. Uh, there's a lot of architectural detail in there. So somebody's using their simulation tools <clears throat> to uh, do some good work. Looks good. Okay. There, so let's talk about King Atlas. So Enki Poseidon was the god of Atlantis. And he, according to um, the Critias, he begat and brought up five pairs of male children, dividing the island of Atlantis into ten portions. 
and he gave to his firstborn of the eldest pair his mother's dwelling and the surrounding allotment, which was the largest and best, and made him king over the rest. And the others he made princes and gave them rule over many men and large territories. He named them all. The eldest, who was king, he named Atlas. And from him, the whole island and the ocean received its name. Isn't that something? So, <clears throat> so the idea that they named a comet after the firstborn son of Enki, who was the king, whose son was the king of Atlantis. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure why they did that, but anyway. Sometimes uh, people in NASA and <coughs> organizations, I think they just seem to entertain themselves. But anyway, so that's what I had on Atlas for you. And I uh, hope uh, that everybody's doing well. Um, we've been in our little quarantine situation for about three weeks now. Uh, but for us, uh, we kind of live like this anyway. It's kind of weird being, because we live in a foreign country. So oftentimes we feel kind of isolated that way. But hopefully, uh, this too will pass and everybody get back to their normal lives and start, uh, serving their fellow man and progressing along their spiritual paths just like they were before. This has been Gerald Clark with Sun Planet Broadcasting. I'll stop rambling today. Headlines with a Brain, Episode 13. Be well.